Welcome back guys and girls. Today we had a fairly busy day in the forex market. We took two wins and one loss. So stay tuned and check out on which pairs. Hi hi and good morning everybody. It's the Tuesday the 12th of February. So this is our morning um, before market open session and here are we analyzing my six pair portfolio and uh, we are just continuing from our yesterday's afternoon session after markets where we got involved in the one trade on pound dollar bat we are still on it in it so you will see it how it's going how it's currently going and how we had to trail our targets a little bit more so let's just start how we always start we start with the usd cad as we shown yesterday, there is nothing here for us because although it does look nice, really nice here, it's not actually it does not meet all of the criteria as we need because this touches 61.8 retracement and then we don't get another 61.8 retracement for a Gartley pattern. So because of it, we have nothing here. We can actually remove this line, whatever that line is for Aussie CAD. Uh, so what do we have here? I thought that we might have something like this. Uh, to for price action, but this here didn't hit the 50, 50 retracement. So basically, the only thing that I can see currently is X to A, A to B. Now waiting for B to C and uh, maybe C to D around here. But that's that's everything I can see. Nothing else. Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, on the Aussie USD, we actually made a new low. Uh, Yeah, I think still not good for me if I were to sell it, but as I'm not looking for trend continuation trades or trend following or whatever, I'm basically a harmonic pattern trading for now for trader for now. I'm just looking at this. So the only thing I can see here is basically that we might have a potential Gartley X to A, A to B right there. And I think that on Aussie USD. Oh, actually, I can trade Gartley's, but I cannot trade BAT. So that's the only thing I'll be looking at today if it does something like this as well. So Aussie CAD, let me let me draw my FIBS back. Aussie CAD, Aussie USD, very similar movement. However, I cannot trade Gartley's on Aussie CAD, so there will be nothing here for me. But I'll leave the FIBS on. Euro dollar kept uh, kept. Falling down since we got in uh, got involved in this. Uh, I think it was Gartley around here when we uh, uh, took a loss. Currently, I'm expecting Oz, uh, Euro dollar to fall even more down to maybe make a pullback all the way to this line here, or maybe even higher in this in this zone here. Uh, where where the Euro dollar can go, we can check out on a higher time frames. Yeah, this might be the next level uh this right there let's see yeah or maybe maybe this is also one oh yeah you see how it was expected and i think it didn't breach this level so uh it might also pull back make a double bottom go out we will see what's gonna happen i have not i didn't backtest any of those things so I just know I don't know I'm just making the analyzing and uh, analysis and training my eyes pound dollar and uh, the trade that we we got a uh, filled yesterday this is our this was our entry candle uh, the price action rallied against us and then came pulled a little bit back up uh, is this uh, this might be like something like a double bottom here which is a good sign we have a RSI divergence right there and uh, i'm hoping that will price continue rally up and at least take our targets one out so that we, that i can trail my stop loss to break even and not lose on a second target although what i'm expecting because this is our x point here just give me a sec as this was our x point the price action actually violated the x point so i'm thinking that the price might go in down and hit my stop loss that's what I'm expecting, but I'm also I'm also hoping for the best and uh, for the price action to go there and hit my targets. 
nothing else on this pair uh, not until I get until I get my heart targets hit so we'll, we'll just be waiting pound yen still waiting for this to fill out today if it's gonna happen maybe we also have something like this in in, in here so let's see yeah we might have another bat if the price action does well, we have a bat if if you find this valid this would be our bat let me do this because actually it is per my rules it is a bat so i'll have to set my orders if the price action goes up uh, the bat that i see is this one see you gotta be careful when you're making your analysis because the thing is that sometimes these candles these hammers can you know always not very nice it is a bat because if you drag your fibs from here to here it did touch 61.8 you did touch 50 so it, it did touch 38 but it's a bat that's why uh yeah so my interesting point would be here 88.6 so i will place my not pending orders but alarms here no sorry uh alerts here there we go so when the price action comes above i'm gonna put my place uh pending orders here and i'm setting my alarms because uh for bad i need to see will it be before 1 p.m uh gmt time or after because if it's after i won't be able to trade it however for gartley although we don't have a gartley i can trade it i just need the price uh, from 5 p.m to 5 p uh, from 5 in the morning to 5 p.m but the price action should not go the rsi should not go over both of our soul based on the 70 30 levels with that being said that brings us to the um, end of the morning session and we will see how will this a day end and see you in the afternoon session thank you very much and talk to you soon bye bye hi guys and welcome back to the busy tuesday uh, i'm so pissed right now currently because i actually was driving home when i saw that one of the trades that we got into today actually is about to hit targets and i was hoping that i can capture it on a video but unfortunately, uh, as soon as I came in the in my home office, it was already it already hit my target one. So let me before I go back to the trade, then I will start my day. I will start my afternoon session with trailing this to break even stop loss because now we that's part of our rules. Now we cannot lose on this trade. And to tell you, we will we will start our afternoon session with the normal uh, order from USD CAD. So. USD CAD, Aussie CAD, Aussie USD, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, and then Pound Yen. Uh, it started kind of slow, but it ended up uh, being a very busy day. We got engaged in two trades today, and we got one one of them hit a target one, which is the one that you saw right here. It is Aussie USD Gartley. And the other one also hit our target, which is Pound Yen Bad Pattern. It actually hit both of our targets, and Pound Dollar actually stopped us out uh, for a pip or so and then rallied rallied up and hit our uh, would-be targets as well now let's go from the beginning but in essence i told you everything in the morning we didn't see anything on the usd cad uh, throughout the day we didn't see anything as well so i'm still waiting for well basically nothing there is nothing in here uh for me so let's just skip through the Auss uh, usd cad and let's go to aussie cad uh i was waiting i cannot trade guardless on this pa on this pair so we have here as i said in the morning session x to a a to b it hit our 61.8 uh fib retracement so there is nothing here for us let's move to aussie usd in the morning session i did i believe that i did share the pattern that i'm looking to trade if i did not uh here it was that's the one that i got engaged with uh engaged in I, my orders got filled. Let me let me show you the pattern. It was Gartley pattern. Uh, pretty decent. This was my entry here. Like around this. And it actually hit our targets one 
right now a few seconds ago. I do have a screenshot from my cell phone. I'm going to bring it up right now. Just give me a sec. Okay, here it is, the screenshot where I was still driving and I took a screenshot because I thought it would be cool to share, you know, uh, price action in its action. And as, as soon as it came home, it hit it. So I'm unable to, you know, uh, to have it on a big screen right there, like hitting the targets in uh, live. But we are still running for targets too. We will see what's going to happen. Euro dollar, nothing. We did. We did went down. To, we tested this um, second second support, and then we breached out, breached up, and currently we are in consolidation. Now I will start looking for some kind of a pattern trades here on this pair as well. Uh, we will see tomorrow because my day is about to end with trading, and I don't see anything here where I could get engaged, uh, involved with. Uh, like right now uh, pound dollar one of the trades that I took completely based on my rules and I was hoping it will reverse back and hit my targets and it did that but however it hit my stop loss first uh, my stop loss was at from a to x uh, 113 inversion and as you can see right there now let me zoom in a little bit it hit my stop loss here so and then reversed back and if I were if it did, if it, my stop, if my stop loss would be just a few pips away from the where it was, uh, price action actually stopped me out, reversed back, and hit hit my target one, which would be my target one in case that I wouldn't get stopped out. It would make me 25 pips, but it wouldn't take off both of my positions out, and I would probably get out of my uh, first live drawdown. Uh, with that being said, pound yen this morning's pattern although ugly one it actually hit our uh got us you know to to fill our position and with within a single candle within an hour we got out of that pattern with a uh, uh two trades a win so we got filled on both of the trades and currently if you take a look at our history we are currently involved in the aussie aussie usd pattern aussie usd here for a second position but if you take a look at the history we got currently i have to update this in my uh spreadsheet so we took euro dollar buy that was a big gartley i think then pound yen we had a buy we took uh targets one and then uh second targets we hit a break even point pound yen uh today's um what is it bad pattern uh I think it's bad. Yeah, bad pattern. We hit both targets and we lost big on pound dollar and we hit one target on Aussie USD. Currently, we are around, I, I don't know, less than a 1% of an account down. But that's what trading is all about. I like what I see. It, we are up and down, up and down. I'm hoping to get out of this first initial drawdown as soon as possible. But it's just about sticking to my rule set, sticking to my backtesting uh, rules and just, just keep going. Going. I'm expecting around 20-25% return by the end of this year. We're, we'll see what's going to happen. I, I'll keep adding more and more patterns, more and more strategies. By start, starting my March, I think I'll have ciphers on Euro Dollar and Pound Euro or, or Pound Dollar backtested. So we will go in March with another uh, set of strategies as well. With that being said, again guys, thank you very much. Uh, to, for staying until the end of this video don't forget to click that like button share button click that subscribe button if you like our content we are updating you each and every day with this live market analysis and also click that bell button thank you very much for watching again and see you tomorrow morning bye bye